In this post, I will cover an important concept, client libraries. Client libraries are primarily JavaScript libraries that you may need to use while developing components and templates. This is an important concept that we didn't cover in the first part of the training. So let us develop a QS component to see how client-side libraries are used in AEM. Let me show you what exactly I meant by a QS component. See the web page. It asks you a very basic question. How much is 1 plus 1? I will select 1 and select validate. It provides me a message. You selected an incorrect answer. I am going to select 2 which is the correct answer and will select validate. It provides me a message. You selected the correct answer. The code for the same looks like this. We have, prov we have provided the question here and we will capture uh, the correct answer which is 2. We have provided the options. Now when the user selects validate, when the user clicks validate, we are calling a function check answer which resides on check.js. Here you have check.js which is a very pretty simple function. I don't want to get into details. Now, when we convert this into a component, we need to accomplish the following. Or this should be allowed to end the question, options, and an answer. After all, content is created by authors. You are a developer who develops the content. We have already seen that authors end the content into a component using dialogues. I am not going to elaborate about dialogues this time, though they are an integral part of the KISS component. After an author enters a question, options, and an answer, we should validate the answer entered by an end user and then show the appropriate message. By end user, I meant the reader. We need to call a JavaScript function to validate the answer. That is what exactly I will cover in the post. It is not a good practice to save JavaScript into the component script directly. We save script inside a client library in AEM and then call the script to the components page. I don't go to start from the scratch. See my previous post to know more about components and dialog. This is where I am. I have created a QS component, created a touch optimized dialog for the component, and this dialog contains field fields such as question, option A to D, and answer. You should see my previous post to know the details. Created a JS file data.js which will capture the values or this enter in the dialog. Again, see my previous post on the scene. I don't want to repeat this uh, section. In the components a default script that is qs html i have added this much code it basically displays the, the question and the options after you drag and drop uh, the qs component to a web page it looks like this authors will be able to enter the questions and answers in this dialog Now, we need to have a JavaScript function to call when the end user clicks the validate button. That is what exactly I am going to show in this video. Go to etc, client libs folder. Create a cq node of type cq client library folder and give a name aem company. I hope you remember our company name. This is the company name that we gave earlier. In this way, we can easily identify the location of all the client, ready, like client library files needed for the project. In other words, you can save all your client library files inside this folder. Now, add another property named categories, which is a string array. So select 
the multi option and select add and provide a name em company dot script now see the file inside this create another folder named scripts you can save all your java scripts inside this this is not a mandatory step but it will provide it a good modularity to your project and now you can create a file named am company dot js copy and paste the script that you have already developed i have sh showed you this script when we started the demo now create a js dot text file js dot text file and copy and paste and copy copy and paste the following content it says that am company dot js is placed inside the script folder we are done with the client library part now we need to include this js file into our components default script uh, go to the qs component that we developed select qs dot html and paste the following see the file this script is primarily a sightly script and it adds a category company dot script into the components default page company dot scripts is the category where uh, we have a uh, required script so in this way we have added the script into a component speech now let us test the component that we developed i'll open the page that we have created earlier uh, let me filter based on am company and this is the second component that we developed the qs component let me drag and drop this to this page it is uh, displayed like this i am going to edit let me enter a question for a change i will write how much is two plus two this is the question i'll i'll give options such as three four five six and the correct answer is four i'm going to select this i'm done now let me go to preview mode to test this this is the preview mode i'm going to select three as the answer select validate it is telling that it is an incorrect answer now i go to select four which is the correct answer and select validate it says that you select the correct answer that means our component is working pretty fine i hope you know you understood the concept it is not all about giving one question and one answer rather we have customized customized it in such a way that both this can end up different questions as usual i have uploaded this qs component uh, to my github page and try using it i hope you enjoyed this session see you people soon thank you